This is the mark that I'm going to paint on and I'm using this tool. I'm going to paint initially with the light blue color. So when you paint on marks, you need to be really slow and steady. So I'll start from this place and I will keep dots really slow because here um, when you dot if you focus on having consistent dots finally your painted mug will look really nice when you dot you shouldn't be having any time constraint plan accordingly and then start dotting so that your mind will be more relaxed calm and composed basically and you will enjoy the process as well Many people have asked me for what color, what uh, brand acrylic colors do I use. I use three different brands. One is Flash Acrylic Colors, which are really good, highly pigmented. And there are varieties of shades. And uh, the next one is Camel Fabrica Acrylic Colors. And I also use Favicryl's range of acrylic colors and there are some shades in each of these brands which I really love and uh, sometimes I mix acrylic colors of different brands and create my own colors as well so when you really want to dot whether it is on a paper or a mug or on a canvas or any other surface for that matter the first thing that you need to take care of is the consistency of the paint it should not be too thick it should not be too thin also it should be like uh, creamy as creamy as possible so that it is easier for you to pick up the amount of paint that you really want so now the first layer is over uh, for the second layer, I'm going to choose a different tool and a different color also. I'm going to keep pink color dots. So now I'm going to keep pink dots here. So I'm using Favicryl pink. And this blue was camel light blue. Keep dots slowly. I generally increase the size of the dot in the uh, upper layer because the uh, space tends to be more. And when you paint marks, you know, if at all you think you have made some mistake and you want to correct it, uh, keep those buds, that's Q-tips handy. and. Uh, the moment you realize that you have made some mistake, you can quickly wipe it off and uh, wipe first with one tip and with another tip maybe to clean it up and then probably you can start painting over it again. Now I'm using this tool um, and then going to keep green dots as a third layer here but not continuously I'm just going to leave some gap and then paint let me just show you how am I going to do it a first dot here and then leaving some gap another dot here again some gap dot so similarly, I'm just going to finish this off. Now look at the pattern that we have here. 
here now I'm going to keep some straight dots okay using this pink color so from here one two three four five one two three four five Keep a dot here. One, two, three, four, five. So similarly, in between any two uh, green patterns, I'm just going to keep dots like this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So you basically have to count because. Um, the consistency of the dots and the number of dots can be maintained perfect. So I'm going to keep um, those dots here. Once they are dry, I'll top dot them too. more attractive so the mug looks like this now so I need to leave some space for uh, sipping the coffee or tea whatever you would have so I have kept this uh, masking tape so that I won't touch that space for dotting even by mistake so now the mug looks like this. I'm sure the mug now looks more beautiful and colorful too.